Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about the song Smokestack Lightning. It's one of those essential riffs that if you're learning blues guitar or you like blues guitar, this is one that you guys, you gotta learn this one. So this is one, you know, we hear it on TV all the time in commercials and movies, it's all over the place. And this is one of those essential riffs. So we're gonna learn this lesson today in three parts. So first I'm just gonna show you the melody because that's fun to play just by itself. Okay, with the tabs on the screen, of course. Then we're gonna try to add that bass line. Okay, so that's called a monotonic bass when we have just the bass thumping on the same note all the time, monotonic. Okay, and then finally we're gonna uh, step it up a little bit, uh, do a little bit modern uh, percussion with it as well. And I'll show you how that works as well. But first let's just jump in and do the melody part by itself. Okay, so, the riff itself is pretty simple. There's kind of two parts to it. So here's the basic riff. We're starting with this low E string, and then we're gonna pop these two high strings, the high E and the high B, okay? And then we're gonna, give, we're gonna play the third fret on both of those strings. But we're not just gonna play it normal. We're gonna give it a little bit of that blues bend to give it that blues third note, which is kind of in between the minor third and the major third. So that kind of sound. So don't bend it until the, about the end of the note. So don't, don't do it like this. Okay, that sounds wrong, right? So what we're gonna do instead is start there and then kind of towards the tail end of that note, you kind of just give it one of the, a little bit of bend, okay? So that's the first part, okay? The second part is the really, really common riff. You hear Lightning Hopkins play this all the time, as well as a lot of like modern blues players. Everybody plays this, rock players. It, this is a common, this is, this is a must know part of the riff. Okay, that's that second part. So let me slow that down. So you're gonna go, you're gonna take these two fingers, your first and second fingers, and basically kind of start them in the first and second frets, even though we're not gonna play this first fret note with our first finger. We're starting here on the second fret of the third string, and, and just kind of shape your fingers like this, so that when you get up to this part, your hand is ready to play that. So sliding second finger on the third string, second fret to fourth fret, and then you're gonna go to the second string, third fret with the first finger. So all together it's this. Okay. Again. Sliding to four. Three, four. Then we're gonna slide that second finger down. Okay, so that's that riff. So follow the on-screen tabs and that's how you do it. The second riff is very, very similar. It finishes the same way, but it starts a little bit differently. It starts like, instead of going instead of that first part, it does this instead. Okay, so hopefully you can hear the difference there. It's just, instead we're going open E string just to the third fret of the B string. So it's, the second round it's Everything else is the same on that riff, okay? So get that under your fingers first, and then second, this is a great piece for you to start working on monotonic bass, getting that thumb independence going a little bit so you can concentrate on the melody and just hopefully have this thumb just kind of clicking away on the quarter notes, okay? So this is what that would sound like if you're putting those together. So basically, we're gonna start with that thumb. We'll just repeat that first riff. Okay, let's slow it down now. So just try to notice on the tab where the melody notes and the bass notes line up. 
okay? That'll help you the most, like meaning where they're perfectly in line, meaning we're gonna play those together. And when they're not played together, they're played in between, right? Uh, so, <laughs> so here it is, together, I'll play it slowly a few times, but basically it's the same riff, but we're just adding the thumb every quarter note, every beat, okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One more time. Okay. Now you can see when I'm slide, I'm sliding up. This note lines with that note, so the fourth fret. That's a tough part. So when you're practicing it, try to loop it like that so you can kind of get the feel of it and then you can um, move on to the next part. Okay, so that's actually the main riff. That's how most people play it. That's how actually everybody plays it. Um, except for probably there's some modern finger style players now that are adding some percussion to it. That's what I call modern finger style is when you're adding some elements of percussion. Uh, there's different types of percussion. Here we're doing a simple thumb slap on the sixth string uh, with everything else. So instead of just going one, two, three, four, on beats two and four, we're gonna go slap on the E string like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is how the real song kind of goes. Of course, it's a full band, you know, it's it's not a guitar, but this is just a fun way of playing it. So, and this is a lot harder. So if, if you're struggling with the monotonic bass section, you know, I would wait for this to, you know, get that good before you move on to this. So let's go through the riffs here, adding the percussion. The techniques are gonna be a little bit different. Sometimes when we have a percussion note, you can't pluck in this direction. What you have to do is pluck, okay? It's kind of like we're hitting the string and then pushing the fingers out, okay? Right now I'm aiming to hit these two strings, strings one and two, along with a slap here. Okay, so just at first, just see if you can do this, okay? We're also gonna have to do a lot of left hand muting to get, you know, some of those notes in. Okay, so let me go through the riff slowly with the percussion. So it starts with. Okay, so that's the riff kind of played slowly. I would focus on the one riff, but notice that I'm when I'm hitting, um, that when I'm having a slap, you have to do a backhand with to catch those notes there, okay? So that leads to some other problems, which I'll address right now. You'll notice that it's really hard to aim when you do that type of technique. So what do you have to do? You have to really be good with left hand muting. So for example, on this phrase, if you weren't, if I weren't muting, it would kind of sound like this. Okay, so you hear those chords. Okay, and that's not like really terrible sounding or anything, but what we're trying to do is get more like this sound. Okay, so notice that time I'm hitting, you know, my right hand is basically doing the same thing as I was, but what I'm doing is I'm concentrating on the left hand, muting all these other strings, so really only this one comes out. And how do you do that? Well, your other fingers can kind of rest gently against those strings to mute them out, okay? If you have your first finger like that, you know, this is the only string that's gonna play that note, okay? Now, this of course is, is a lot easier said than done, this takes a lot, a lot of practice to get used to that. I mean, you're adding in like a lot of extra steps here, even though it sounds pretty much the same and pretty simple sounding, it's it's a bunch of steps up. So don't get discouraged if this takes a while uh, to get with the thumb slap and stuff. It's really kind of a modern technique. And if you haven't done this before, this might be a good place to maybe start, but it's not an easy song. It's not an easy riff to do with that thumb slap. 
that's how you do it. And uh, best of luck on this one. This is a kind of a tough one if you're adding that thumb slap. If you're just doing the melody, it's really, really fun. And it sounds about the same. And the listeners don't really know how hard something is when they're listening to it. Um, it's just only other guitar players that'll know that that's really, really hard. Um, so have fun with it. That's the most important thing. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.